Small protests in the second largest city in Myanmar. These students and activists in Mandalay are speaking out against Monday's military coup. But with the military clamping down on internet and social media providers, it's hard for people to communicate and organize protests. We have no access to any news, no news about Mother Aung San Suu Kyi. I feel so sad it gives me a pain in my chest. I would rather go out and fight if possible, but that would be against the wishes of Mother Sue. Facebook is a central part of life in Myanmar. It's why the military has shut it down. It seems as if the military has really gone after the primary social media platforms, including Facebook, which really is the internet in Myanmar. Most people, including people within government agencies, use Facebook almost as if uh, it was an email system. So it will be uh, uh, terrible in terms of its consequences, not only in terms of organizing a response to this coup, but also in terms of conducting day-to-day -day, uh, business uh, and economic activity. But that didn't stop these health workers walking out of a hospital to protest against the coup. According to their Facebook groups, similar walkouts happened at hospitals across the country. We are just protesting peacefully by wearing this red ribbon. We don't need to speak out. We all know that wearing the ribbon is a sign of protest against the military government. And we only want our elected government. This is our message. Many people have likely not seen such a military presence on their streets since the 2011 democratic reforms. Despite the apparent anger at the social media ban and the international condemnation of the coup, the generals who have vast business interests in the country are not going anywhere. Many people in Myanmar may be troubled by the military intervention, but minorities in the country have long been victims of the army's crackdown. Hundreds of thousands of Muslim Rohingya were forced to flee persecution. Deposed leader Aung San Suu Kyi, who was largely silent about their plight, now finds herself at the mercy of the very same generals. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera.